Every time, it feels like you got these Baltimore Ravens figured out. It feels like you know exactly what type of moves they're going to make, what type of routes they're going to take. They always end up hitting us with a curveball that comes out of nowhere, but we love it. Team Keep It Clean, let's read the report straight from Adam Schefter. He says, a Louisville reunion in Baltimore. The Ravens are signing quarterback Malik Cunningham off the Patriots practice squad and onto their roster. So he's going straight to the 53 they really value this guy, and we're going to talk about the reasons why. Uh, Cunningham told ESPN today, Cunningham now will finish the season in Baltimore and go to the playoffs. It's funny that Adam Schefter put that because Ravens are not officially in the playoffs yet. I mean, we expect them to. They most likely will make it, but they're not there yet. But continuing, he said Cunningham and Lamar were teammates at Louisville for one season in 2017. Six years later, Cunningham and Jackson are teammates again, this time with the Ravens. So Ravens, their quarterbacks right now, Lamar Jackson, Tyler Huntley, Josh Johnson, and now Malik Cunningham. And I love this. This is a shocking movie. We're going to get into so many different reasons why and what this means and what it means for the current, what it means for the future. We're going to talk about all of that. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single video. And also, leave a like on the video because it helps out a whole lot. It really does. It goes a long way. So I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. Now, getting back to this Malik Cunningham news, let's, let's read what he had to say to ESPN. He says, I wanted to thank Mr. Kraft and Coach Belichick for giving me an opportunity to play with the Patriots. I learned a lot from them. Uh, I want to be a coach one day, so I will take notes from Coach Belichick because he's one of the greatest of all time. I had great teammates in New England and built relationships that will last a lifetime, but I just feel like this is a good opportunity for me, and I'm excited to be a Baltimore Raven. Hey, I'm excited for it too, but why? Why, why would the Baltimore Ravens make this move? Because... Again, they obviously already got Lamar Jackson. He's healthy. They got Tyler Huntley. He's healthy. They got Josh Johnson. He's healthy. Why would you add Malik Cunningham to your roster? Well, you know that little saying that we always say, stay ready so you ain't got to get what? Ready. Exactly. You get it. Tyler Huntley next year. He's been the backup quarterback for the past couple of years. But Tyler Huntley next year, he is a free agent. What does that mean for Tyler Huntley? He could have come back to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but now this pretty much is the this, this pretty much is a nail in the coffin for that, in my opinion. Things could change, but I, I think this means that that's a wrap. Now, with Tyler Huntley becoming a free agent next year, his price it goes up. It, it goes up because <laughs> y'all know, like more than ever, backup quarterback nowadays. Justin Herbert just went down today. He just went down, and I mean he didn't just go down, but he's out for the season. Uh, Joe Burrow out for the season. And we could go down a list of so many quarterbacks who have been hurt and they are out for the season. And the, the value to, to have a, a, a good, even a decent backup quarterback, you, that, that price for all of them is going to be skyrocketing next season because their value, they, because of this season, it just went way up. So Tyler Huntley, next year, for whatever team he signs to, he is going to get significantly more money next year than he probably gotten in, in his entire career. And I'm happy for him. I, I would like to see Tyler Huntley get an opportunity to start somewhere. We'll see how that goes, but that's why I think the Baltimore Ravens are making this move. Again, they staying ready so they ain't got to get ready. They're trying to take care of their backup situation, their backup QB situation early rather than wait till later. And then you got Josh Johnson too. Josh Johnson is somebody that's familiar with the Ravens. I mean, he's familiar with a lot of NFL teams, but Josh Johnson, a journeyman. Uh, Josh Johnson been going from team to team and whatnot. And shout out to him for continuing his career. I'm happy. I love that. Um, get your bread. But Ravens could be looking at like, all right, let, let, let's get something that'll be more settled. Somebody that'll be more settled. Somebody that we could develop. And especially when you think about the Baltimore Ravens coaching staff, their current coaching staff and everything that they've been able to really get from Lamar this year and how they've been able to take him to another level this year. And, and that's been something that I've been extremely pleased with this season because with Lamar Jackson, with Greg Roman, again, he was not a bad offensive coordinator. But it just felt like things had been maxed out already and they were not taking full advantage of Lamar Jackson as a quarterback. As a runner, yes. As a quarterback, no. And now this offense, it, it seems like it's the exact opposite because it's taking full advantage of Lamar Jackson as a quarterback, but not as a runner. At least not yet. I, again, I think they're holding that back to the playoffs. But anyway, uh, back to Malik Cunningham. This is a beautiful thing now. Somebody on the Patriots, they, uh, <laughs> they're happy for Malik Cunningham, but they're also not really happy with their current team. Uh, that is offensive lineman Trent Brown because he put on his Instagram story. He said, Malik, 
Go flourish where your talent is respected, little brother, for life. So that's a little compliment to Malik, but a little jab at them New England Patriots. So he let it be known like, hey, I am not happy here. You made it out. I'm happy for you, but I got to throw a little petty uh, at them Patriots. So it is what it is now. Um, in a corresponding move, which I was a little shocked about, I was a little surprised about it, because I was thinking, all right, these Baltimore Ravens, they're having Malik Cunningham go straight to the active roster, not to the practice squad. Remember that. He goes straight to the active roster. And I'm like, they, they only had one open spot available on their active roster, and that was from Mark Andrews, him being on injury reserve. So John Harbaugh did talk about yesterday, oh, Pepe Williams, he's going to be going to the active roster. He said, oh, yeah, I didn't talk to Eric DeCosta. We just got to figure out the details on it. He's going to be going to the active roster. But this, I'm like, hold up. But now Malik Harrison, is he taking uh, Pepe Williams' spot on the active roster? But no, because uh, Devin DuVernay, Devin DuVernay is going to be going to injured reserve. So he will miss these last four games of the season. You know what? Let's just read the report from Ian Rappaport. He said, Ravens All-Pro returner Devin DuVernay suffered a back injury on Sunday and is being placed on injury reserve, sources say. It will not require a procedure, and he should be good for the playoffs. To fill his roster spot, Baltimore signed Malik Cunningham from New England's practice squad. So, um, crazy timing with everything. Devin DuVernay gets hurt. Now he's out for the last four games. Uh, Tylen Wallace, he steps in, and he does his thing on that first punt return, uh, the game-winning punt return in overtime, and then Malik Cunningham, who has been had this weird back and forth with the Patriots because if you recall, he had signed that, what was it, a three-year contract extension with the New England Patriots? Like, oh, okay, cool. And then like a week or two or something, he got cut. Uh, and then they signed him back to the practice squad. They elevated him for one game, and then it was just it's just been a lot of back and forth. But now he's with the Baltimore Ravens. So now for him, especially with him being on the active roster, this will allow him to get consistency. And this you can tell the Baltimore Ravens really valued him because they gave him a roster spot. Because they could have waited this thing out. They could have waited till next year. Oh, maybe he'll be a free agent. We'll see what he signs. See if he get an opportunity to sign with our practice squad instead of theirs. But they said, no, we're getting on this now. We're trying to take advantage of this now. And it's funny, my guy Beck, I, 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 I loved it because, uh, and, and I've been seeing a lot of it, of course, with both of them having gone to Louisville. Uh, both of their games, Lamar Jackson and Malik Cunningham, their games are similar because while they could pass, they could take off as well. They are true, true dual threats. But my guy Beck, uh, 410 Beck on Twitter, he put up these interesting statistics. He said Louisville passing touchdowns. Uh, Malik Cunningham is fourth overall in Louisville passing touchdowns with 70 of them. Lamar Jackson is fifth overall with 69 of them. So them boys at Louisville, they threw a lot of touchdowns. Now, um, rushing yards, Louisville. Uh, Lamar Jackson is first with 4,132 rushing yards at Louisville. That boy could take off. I mean, we know he could take off because we, we done seen it. But Malik Cunningham, he's second with 3,182. So they, they put up numbers at Louisville. And, and, again, this just gives us a nice reminder that the potential is there. It's there. And for Malik Cunningham and, and for so many other quarterbacks through the years, we've seen it to where – in college, they're amazing, they're explosive, they be killing it, they're crushing it, they're making all these plays, and they get to the NFL, and it's like, whoa, what happened? What happened to that guy? Now, sometimes it's the case where hey, the guy, they, maybe they're just not cut out for the league. Maybe this is just, it's just different. But in a lot of other cases, and we've seen it time and time again, they go to the wrong situation. They go to the wrong place. They go to the wrong team. And we always talk about how timing is everything, but so is your circumstances. And if you're not with the right team, if you're not with the right person, if you're not with the right staff that's really going to tap into your potential, your potential could go to waste like that. It really could. And we've seen it. Like Even in personal experience, I mean, you, we see that work. I, and, and I hate to have to go back to the story, but I got to go back to the story in my own personal life at a previous job that I was working at. I was working there and it just 
things were just not going good. I was not happy. Uh, my bosses, they were not happy with my work. Uh, it was not up to satisfactory standards and whatnot. And I was just doing just enough to get by, but not excelling. Potential was possibly there, but I was not excelling. What happened? The, the, the boss that I had, the manager that I had, she was like, oh, whatever. She was just like, she was doing enough so she could get by. Uh, she was not somebody that would reach into you and pull out your potential. But we got a new manager. And he spoke with each of us individually, took time to get to know us individually and really tried to find out what our goals were, what we were trying to do and try to really get the best out of us individually. So collectively as a team, we could do that much better. And it worked. The ev everything changed for me and for a lot of other people as well. So initially now I do got to take accountability for my own actions because initially I, and again, I, I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. I was just there doing enough to get by, but it almost felt like I might have been in the wrong situation or the wrong circumstances. Then circumstances changed, management changed, leadership changed, and I changed. So with Malik Cunningham, maybe he was just in the wrong circumstance because, again, <laughs> these brothers, these brothers in Baltimore, they, they are doing their thing. They really are. Obviously, Lamar Jackson has been doing his thing for years, but Tyler Huntley, he done got his shot here and there. He, he's done his thing, especially as a backup quarterback. Josh Johnson, he done came back around for the second time to the Baltimore Ravens. And now Malik, and, and then you, you think about the coaching, too. You think about a T. Martin. You got T. Martin in your ear. And I'm, I'm sure Malik Cunningham is, is super, super excited just seeing that, just thinking about that, like, man. And he obviously is a big supporter of Lamar Jackson. So he's, he's thinking about, like, man, look at what they did with Lamar Jackson. Look at how they are continuing to allow him to evolve as a quarterback. I want that for me. And now let's hope that Malik Cunningham gets it.